Lambo talks a bit about their upcoming SUV's design. You psyched, bro? Yep. Cool. Is FCA sparking up a revival of the Barracuda? We'll see. Nissan could Nismo up a Maxima, and Maserati will take Ferrari's place as FCA's top brand. Plus, it sure is Tuesday, so someone surely is doing it wrong. Oh yeah. Hey, what's up world? I'm Derek D. It's good to have you here watching the show, which of course is Fastlane Daily. I mean, that's what it is. Hey, if you haven't checked out showyou.com slash Daily yet, well then uh, head over there and have a look. You may like what you see and if you feel so inclined, join up and get yourself some extra Fastlane Daily. We call, maybe call it Fastlane Gravy. <laughs> extra, it's on top. Right. There you go. With Ferrari set to kind of be spun off from Fiat Chrysler Automobiles brand, CEO Sergio Marchionne said that Maserati will take the prancing horse's place at the top of the FCA's food chain, if you will. To step up to the plate and be the profit leader, the breadwinner, if you will, Maserati will add new models, including a new coupe and, of course, the SUV that we've reported on before about 439 times. Also, there will be more U.S. dealerships opening up in the not-too-distant future. Maserati's profit margins on each vehicle sale is triple that of all other FCA vehicle brands overall. So it doesn't seem like such a stretch for the Italian sports car brand to pick up where Ferrari is leaving off, although I do think it will be kind of hard. So uh, we'll see how that goes. But what is going on in this video? I mean, people who fly gliders drive Maseratis? Is that, mm -hmm. is that what's happening yeah. here? Mm -hmm. It's actually very mm -hmm. Naturally, yeah. It's a fact. Then the guy lands his glider and his chick picks him up in the Maserati Ghibli. He just leaves the glider there. You can't just park gliders where you want, bro. Well, he can just afford another glider. Just for another glider, yeah. There it is, makes sense. Oh, and speaking of FCA, they just patented the Barracuda name, and now rumors are flying around about a rebirth of the famous muscle car. Now, hold, all right, hold on a second. Automakers do occasionally re-trademark classic names without reintroducing the models, but there's a chance Dodge could change the Challenger to the Cuda when its current generation ends production in 2018, or the Barracuda could exist as a sub-challenger model to rival smaller sports cars like the Scion FRS. At this point, I'm sure Cuda fans will say, but hey, the Barracuda was a Plymouth. Well, so was the Prowler, but it was rebranded as a Chrysler for the reborn model of the early 2000s. So it's not off limits. Relax, okay? Jeez. Imagine We're just going crazy really over there. Freaking yeah. out behind their computer they right are. now. I know. <laughs> no! <laughs> Nissan has been calling its Maxima a four door sports car for years, but eh, I mean, it's never really lived up to its marketing title. But now, Nismo, their in house tuner, the Maxima could become a real sports driver's car with Nismo's help. Right. Of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The Maxima Nismo would undergo the same performance treatment as models like the 370Z and GTR Nismos which means more bold bodywork, increased power, better handling equipment. <coughs> CVT. Ah, CVT transmission. Ah. The green light decision will be based on how well the sportier version of the redesigned Maxima, the SR, sells this year. So in other words, they're waiting to see if the Maxima is worth maxing out with the Nismo edition to really push it to the max. Right, Max? That's oh, right, yeah. my man. Oh, that's real nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Now that Lamborghini will officially be building a production version of the Urus SUV concept, we're getting a little more of an idea how that model will actually look. Reportedly, Lambo will stay very close to the concept styling for the production version, which is a good thing. You know, it looks good. Interesting, at least. So that means, you know, very sharp, angular lines, a low stance. That stance, though, Erica. Yeah. And a sexy shape, you know. Also, there could be a, at least two versions of the Urus, one with a turbocharged engine and one with a hybrid setup. Unlike their first SUV truck thing, you know, the LM002, LM002, whatever you want to call it, the Urus will be focused on performance, while this monstrosity was meant to tackle the roads less traveled. Uh, yeah, but it's so just... What an SUV is supposed to do. Yeah, what an SUV is supposed to do, technically. The real, you know, version. 
Expect to see the Lamborghini Urus SUV on sale in 2018. And by see it, I mean if you live in Beverly Hills, Manhattan, the Hamptons, you get the idea. Yep. Deal, New Jersey, a lot of rich places Miami. in Connecticut, Connecticut, Miami. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Mainly <laughs> everywhere you see G Wagons. Kansas. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Get out of here. All right. Let's watch somebody who ends up doing it wrong. Ooh. A good pause. Yeah. This one comes from FLD fan Nader Karimi. And, uh, well, here's a long story short. Nader has a Mercedes CLK 500. And his buddy Jacob has a Lexus SC300 with an aftermarket turbocharger. Jacob says he'll 100% dust Nader's Mercedes. So they decided to go to Irwindale, Irwindale Speedway in California to settle this little dispute. Oh, they're safe about it. That's yeah, good. exactly. Yeah, points for being safe about it. So before the race, Jacob went and got some new but used tires, so new to him, but they were used, put on his Lexus, which is fine, sure. But apparently, for some reason, the people who put these tires on dip the entire tires in oil before mounting them. Yeah. What? Never heard of that one before, unless those tires were really hard to get on the wheel <laughs> or the rim. I don't, I don't know. So, without questioning that, Jacob drove off to the speedway. And here they are about to race. So let's end, uh, end the off. Not in his Mercedes, just spanking Jacob's Lexus off the line. But you can tell something isn't right with the Lexus. Wheels are spinning fast, but it's not getting any traction. He's moving too slow. Then, yes, yeah, Spin City. Woo, Jacob does a whole 360. Mm. There he goes. Luckily not hitting either wall. I mean, this could have been a lot worse. So, uh, I mean, going to the track with oiled up tires and actually letting a place oil up your tires without questioning it and then racing your buddy only to lose and almost hit the wall and spin out? Jacob, come on, man. You're doing it wrong. There you go. What? Maybe get the oil off your tires, then go back and see if you could beat your buddy. And, and definitely, definitely find a new tire shop. I mean, I don't, yeah. I don't know where you went, but uh, yeah. you're dipping your tires in oil. He's like, I did it myself. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't know yeah. what's happening there. I mean, hey, you didn't dust Nodder, but you did kick up some dust right here, if you look. See right there. See, there's that. And people did clap for you after your 360, so maybe you did kind of win. Yeah. But not the good kind of win. You know what I mean? The people's champion. Yeah, if you guys want to see that, the link is in the description, all right? What did I say last week? The description is in the link? Yep. Yep, that's how I roll. All right, <laughs> since they're actually building the Lamborghini Urus SUV, our FLD question of the day is quite simply, would you buy a Lamborghini Urus? <laughs> if you had the money, of course. Uh, I would test drive, I would drive it, see how it rolls, and then if I had tons of money, I'd be like, and I was married, I'd be like, here, honey, you can have that. Look, and I'll get it. I'll get an Aventador. <laughs> Or a hurricane. No sound for that one yet. Nope. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's this. Hurricane. Yeah. Punch. Oh. You heard that. All right. <laughs> That's going to do it. For, oh, wait. No. Let us know using hashtag oh. FLDQ of the D. And you can send your own in too. Omar, take the, take the reins. Tips at fastlanedaily.gov, my man. That's it. Calm. <laughs> and that's calm, all. Man. All right. Let's calm down. And that's also it for Fastlane Daily today. I'm Derek D. Thank you for watching, everybody, and we will talk to you again on Hump Day. That is, that's tomorrow. Yeah. Goodbye now. Seriously, get out of here. Seriously, we're done. Just beat it. Take a walk. Put your computer down. Go outside. Play. Close the tab. Yeah. Put the phone down. Turn off. Yeah. Whatever. Just, just get out of here. Seriously. Get the f*** out of here. Ow, we're living in the fast lane, baby.